Hey everyone, Brian here with Sound Yeti. I'm really excited today to show you Revelation Fusion Harp. This is the next chapter in the Revelation series. Some of you may be familiar with Revelation Scoring Grand. Now we've taken it a step further and giving you the Fusion Harp. So we're going to check this out today. It's got a few different articulations and a lot of possibilities and potential with the different sound design layers. So let's jump right in. All right, so here I have Revelation Fusion Harp harp. Probably the first thing you'll notice is we have an arpeggiator this time, which is very helpful with this harp and to get a really nice sound. In fact, I'm playing around with a little preset uh, I just made, just turning on the arpeggiator. So that's a very simple preset with just one of the sound design layers, two different mic positions for the harp playing the etouffee, which is plucking the string and then immediately dampening it. So let's start and let's go over the different articulations for the actual harp. Now, we did record a renowned concert harpist in London for this one. We have three different mic positions and four different articulations. Um, it's very useful, even as just a kind of a standard orchestral harp library. And we'll look at the different articulations. We have flageolet, which is a harmonic, very lightly plucking the string while the second hand actually dampens the string. So you're technically only playing half of the string. So it will have a harmonic sound that sounds an octave higher than the octave of that actual string. And it sounds like this. You notice we do have just a little bit of delay on there. So for demonstration purposes, if you want to see how dry it can get, I've turned the reverb and the delay all the way off. A really nice, beautiful sound there. We'll go to normal, which is normal plucking of the string. There you can hear the different dynamic layers from a very soft, lightly plucked sound to when I play the keys with a higher velocity, it will have a much more sharp attack. And again, you can hear how the flageolet is an octave higher playing the same key. And you can really hear the difference in the sound characteristic as I go between those two. Now the normal, as the name implies, is sort of the normal standard workhorse articulation for any harpist. So now that we're on the normal, we'll check out the different mic positions. That was the near, the closest mic. We'll do mid. Get a slightly more spacious sound there, and then we'll go to the far. Might have to turn that up just a little bit. The most spacious sound out of them all, as you can hear already.
So again, while the harp can be a very beautiful, delicate instrument, it can also be a little bit more aggressive when you play with the harder dynamics there. As you can hear, we can go up the octave. Next, we'll go to the next articulation. I'll go back to sort of a mix of mic positions here. Uh, this articulation is called Pre de la Table. Looks like press la table. <laughs> However, it is a French word and a way of playing the harp closer to the soundboard. You get a more, kind of a more accented, a little bit more shrill attack with this one. A little bit more delicate, um, not as full and warm, more, a little bit more shrill and trebly there. And then finally we have etouffee, which is plucking and then immediately dampening the string. So that's just the harp itself. We do have uh, a few different controls for the actual harp articulations here. Uh, the general volume controls were the different layers, master volume of the entire instrument, harp volume, layers volume, and then layers chance. If you guys remember what chance is from Revelation scoring grand, chance is exactly what it sounds like, the chance that these layers will trigger. For instance, if I've got these layers here, they're all enabled now. If I do my chance down to zero and I play a note, those layers are all enabled, but there's 0% chance they're actually going to play. So if I do layer A to 100, as you can hear, we have layer A there. Do this one to let's say 50 and this one around 75%. So already you can hear the different sound design layers that we have here. If you'd like to change the sound for any of these layers, just click here and you will be able to go through the browser here. As you can see, we have all, and then you can categorize them by bowed, bowls and bells, breath, particles, and synths. So if I go to bowed, here are my options. I'll go and click bowing textures that loaded up there for layer A. Now we can solo that and hear what that sounds like. So let's enable the flagellette with the far microphones and then those three layers there and you get a very nice delicate soundscape with an organic harp at its core fleshed out with the three different sound design layers and you get something like this. And we can hold that for as long as we want. The tone up here of the harp, if you'd like a more subdued sound, kind of put this down and you'll hear immediately how the harp is more and we can enable the arpeggiator here. We can adjust the steps just like that. We can adjust how many octaves it will cycle through as the arpeggiator uh, plays through and adjust the steps here from 1 to 16. 
So you can do fun things like that very, very easily. Um, I had that as played, played a little scale, and then I also enabled the layers there so that they play along with the arpeggiator. Now, we can randomize or reset the layers at any time just by clicking down here. I've now reset the harp, and now I've reset the layers for that preset. Now we can also randomize the samples just by clicking down here. This will randomize layer A, this will randomize layer B, and then this will randomize layer C, and then this will randomize them all, and now we have entirely new sounds for those three different sound design layers. Finally, we have the effects panel down here. If you wanna go back to the layers, the ADSR, EQ, and LFO, hit that gear, and then we hit the effects, and we have delay A, delay B, and then the reverb. So we can adjust the reverb as well. Let's do something uh, cathedral, something very huge. Again, that reverb's all the way up. So let's go in and I'm gonna start with a preset. Let's go to Ensemble Kind Keys. Let's look at what the LFOs are doing for that. Those are assigned to pan. I can hear it kind of panning left and right. Let's add it to the low pass filter for these. Since the resonance is up a bit, it's got that kind of very synthy sci fi <laughs> type sound. Let's go back to effects. I'm gonna have delay B, analog, delay A, modern, ping pong. You can also select um, some different delay presets. So how we switch between the two different delays and the amount is going to be clicking on this. Switch from delay A to delay B and adjust the amount for both of those. So you can get some cool stuff like that. Some of my favorite stuff is these fusions. So let's just load one of these up. I'll play it and then we'll adjust it a little bit. So that we get a really nice soundscape. Again, the harp is obviously the core of this sound. We can really hear that attack the harder we press. Let's go ahead and turn on the arpeggiator. Do it very softly. I'm adjusting the steps here. You can hear as I turn the delay up now that continues after I release the latch function.
All right, let's go check out one more preset. And again, I'll start by loading up a preset and then I will tweak it and have a little bit of fun with it. So let's go into the underscore. Uh, these kinetics are very, very cool as well. We'll check out maybe a couple of these because I like them so much. Finally, I just want to focus on randomizing it so you can hear some of the possibilities with just the sound design layers, taking the harp completely out of the equation since we isolated the harp quite a bit for the first half of this video. So if you want to hear more of the presets from Revelation Fusion Harp, definitely check out the standalone preset video, which will take you through just some of the presets. Hopefully this gave you a better idea of what the instrument can do. Um, take a look and listen to the different articulations, mic positions, as well as the different effects and sound design layers that you can use to create 
infinite sonic possibilities. Thank you guys for checking this out with me, and I will see you next time.